So now comes the time of refactoring, which is cool because suddenly I can fix some errors that I made in the past. And one thing I consider a little bit an error was supporting common service locator. I, I'm quite happy to get rid of that now for two reasons. The first reason is, first of all, it's a little bit over-engineered, I would say. Okay, it's a typical engineer response to a non-issue. Why non-issue? It's because how often are you going to switch IOC container in the life of your project? Maybe once. But most of the time you don't switch at all because most of the time you have one that you like already, like Unity, Autofac, or simple IOC, the, the, the MVVM Lite one, why not? And then you just use it, you don't switch, okay? And also it causes some issues because you have an additional reference. And also my main issue is that when I started porting MVVM Lite to 1.0, to, to, to uh, .NET standard, I wanted to go with 1.0. I wanted to go as low as I can. Remember before I told you, okay, when you do a class library, try to go as low as you can. And Common Service Locator was not even on .NET standard at the time. So I had a choice between doing the work myself, but it's work, okay, I, I don't really have time. I was not even a contributor on the project, so I was depending on someone to do the work for me, okay? And then when they finally released to .NET standard, they chose 2.0, okay? I'm not sure if it's because they have to or because they didn't listen to my presentation where I said you should go as low as possible, I'm not sure. But basically that was an issue for me because I wanted to go with 1.0. If common service locator is 2.0, I can't. I have to go to zero, make sense? So I said, okay, I want to get rid of that. Now that's a breaking change. So for my users, if they are used to MVVM Lite, the PCL version, suddenly they use the .NET standard one, they have a breaking change. But I feel that porting to .NET standard, it's kind of a good point in time for this type of breaking change. Okay, it's, it's kind of a big thing. So why not do a breaking change and then document it nicely, write some documentation about it, and then you're good to go. So I remove the common service locator, which means that I don't need the extras anymore. I can put everything in just one library. Okay, and now that's the standard version so now I still have the problem of those platforms. The platform code didn't change at all. It is platform code. It is .NET code or Xamarin code or whatever. That's fine. But of course, I need to change the reference. And so now I have a standard version of the platform, which is taking reference on the standard version of MVVM Lite. And that's the new architecture that we have now. Okay?